Hey, -o. this is uh, Whiskey Tango here with you today with a crappy combination lock uh, that I picked up on the bay. So, uh, lock aside, let's let's talk about this packaging for a minute. Holy cow! Uh, so I don't know if this is like a Hello Kitty knockoff, if, or if that's like a rabbit. And there's a bear and a frog, I think, and a cupcake. Uh, but anyway, uh, probably not uh, an ultra high security device uh, then, but uh, I wanted to make a video about this lock because uh, there's some things I wanted to talk about that I think apply to uh, decoding all combination locks to some degree, and uh, it's just a fun little lock to, uh, to play around with, and the, and the feedback is pretty good. So, uh, and what I mean by that is, you know, okay, approaching this lock that we know nothing about, uh, and, and to any, uh, to some extent, I think this applies to, to anything from a push button combination to a single or multiple dial, uh, combination lock, and, and maybe even a little bit to, um, group two wheel packs, uh, and that kind of thing, which I'm just barely, uh, starting to scratch the surface on, but, um, and that principle is, you know, you might not know what you're looking for necessarily. You just know that you're looking for something out of the ordinary or some pattern. Uh, so with this, this lock, you know, just, you're just taking it, uh, not knowing it from Adam, uh, having no clue what the brand name is here. Uh, it's an eight button push button combination lock. Uh, the buttons go from the front to the back, which leads me to believe that there's gates in here. Uh, and interestingly enough, there's also a little kind of a release on the bottom here. So just kind of playing around with it, what I noticed is it seems to be some kind of a dual locking mechanism. So uh, the, the keys, pins, uh, however you really want to think about it, uh, have gates, obviously, and this is a secondary release. So I think the idea here is you key in the combination, however many digits that is, and then you click here and the lock opens. And as you may have noticed, we, we got a little click there when we when I hit that shackle. So let's do that again. So if I lock it up, I hit this, uh, it's open. So once I've done that, if I put a little bit of pressure on the shackle, fairly heavy, uh, tension, I can start to get some feedback from these pins. So, you know, what do we do? Let's just go one to eight. So one, just kind of like little pushes. Um, you know, what feels different here? Two, three, these are all very smooth. Four, five. Now at five, we've got an audible click. So what does that mean? I don't know, but let's proceed. So six, Six with the same pressure I was using does not want to set. Okay, so seven, same thing. It indents a little bit, but it does not want to set. Eight, same thing. So what does that tell us? I don't know. Let's uh, unset six, seven, eight completely. And uh, I mean, it kind of seems like we, we got the combination somewhere in the first five numbers. I just don't know if, if it's a three or four digit combination or what. So I don't know. Let's apply some, apply some uh, pressure to the shackle and and just go through those, uh, unsetting those pins in reverse order. So five, five does not want to unset. Four does not want to unset. Three does not want to unset. Two does not want to unset. One unsets very easily and the lock is open. Uh, so the combination apparently was two, three, four, five. Uh, and that's that. We, we didn't know what we were looking for, but we set out methodically and found it anyway. Um, and that's it. Uh, you'll probably never open that lock, but uh, maybe you uh, heard a principle or two that can help you out, and, uh, and I hope it does. And uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and have a great day.